herself took it into her head to rear a turkey from start to finish. From when he was a weak old chick, she had him in a box beside the range to keep him warm. In the mornings, when she had gone out to feed the hens, I used to sneak over to have a few words with him. Garrod Og had gone back to college and I was feeling lonely. I christened him Timothy. I tell him about the price of calf nuts and the pains in me giants. Timothy would put his head on one side and look at me sympathetically. Herself has abbreviated the art of conversation to such an extent we might as well be spaken in Morse code. And of course, there are tonalities of silence depending on the degree of huffery fermenting in her brain cells. Timothy is out in the hin run now and he's starting to put up condition. He is as ignorant as any pagan of the festivities associated with the birth of the Lord. I haven't the heart to tell him he's for the child. I suppose I could hardly persuade the head chef to have a vegetarian Christmas. We could have chickpea hummus and falafel burgers. I wonder who was the fella who fell? Maybe tis a trick they have out in the Middle East to fall over and be picked up by some veiled beauty. I should emigrate altogether, take Timothy with me. He'll be perfectly at home, a turkey over in Turkey. He'll have his pick of the gallinaceous females, and I'll have my Turkish delight.